This is the AuthenticWatches.com instruction video for using the Omega Seamaster Chronograph. This particular model does feature a screw down crown, so to wind the watch you will need to unscrew the crown by turning it counterclockwise until it pops out on its own. Once it has popped out on its own, you can wind the watch by turning the crown clockwise about 80 to 100 times. And once the power reserve has been fully stored, the watch should move on its own for about 52 hours. To set the time on this watch, you will need to pull the crown out one click away from the winding position, also known as position 2. Once you've pulled the crown out, you can move the hands forward by turning the crown counterclockwise. You can move the hands back by turning the crown clockwise. Before we can attempt to change the date on this model, we will first need to make sure that it's outside the time frame of the turn cycle, which is the hours of 8 p.m. to 3 a.m. You may not remember that time frame, or you may not know whether you're in the a.m. or p.m. setting. The easy way around this is to make sure that both hands are pointing towards the 6 hour mark. Once both hands are pointing towards the 6 hour mark, we know it is safe to change the date. Unlike most models, the date on this watch is changed through the helium escape valve, not through a position on the crown. So if you take a look at the helium escape valve, you'll see that there's a button right at the center there. We're going to press that button in to advance the date. With your purchase should be included a date changing pin. It's a nice soft plastic Omega date changing pin. You'll use that pin to press the helium escape valve in and when you press it in you will see the date advance. A common misconception with chronograph watches is that the longest central hand is the seconds hand, but it is not. The seconds hand on any chronograph watch is going to be one of the subdials. Usually there's an indication through some sort of marker that it is the seconds hand, such as 60, 20, 40. On this model it doesn't have any markers, but we can see that this is the subdial that's moving at all times. That is going to be our normal seconds hand that's going to be moving 24-7 as long as the watch is powered. To use the chronograph feature on this watch, you will need to press the top button, also known as the A button. Once you do so, you'll notice that the central longest hand will visibly start to move, and the other two subdials, the chronograph minutes and the chronograph hours, will gradually move over time. To stop the chronograph feature, you will also press the top A button. And to reset the chronograph, you will need to press the bottom button, also known as the B button. It is very important to note that with chronograph watches, you cannot attempt to reset the chronograph while it is moving because doing so can damage the watch. Another nice feature of this watch is the unidirectional rotating bezel. The bezel can be rotated counterclockwise but it cannot be moved or bumped back in the clockwise direction. This is designed specifically for the purposes of diving so that divers can keep track of how much oxygen they have left in their tank. And that is it. If you are interested in purchasing this model, the link to our website is in the video description. If you have any other questions or concerns, you can call us at 1-800-808-9928 or you can email us at sales at authenticwatches.com. Thank you very much.